So one of the things that painters need to think about, especially if you're a type of painter that wants to, you know, preserve your paintings and, you know, get them ready for galleries. I know that's one of the goals that I'm going to be pursuing in the very near future. I'm going to be trying to, you know, get my artwork at a high level quality and make sure that they maintain quality. One of the things that you need to do is figure out how to maintain quality. And I know at least one way is to varnish your paintings. So recently I bought two types of varnish. They both are ga Gamblin, Gamvar varnishes, but I got two types of varnish because I wanted to see what the difference was between them. And one of them is a matte varnish, you can see right there. And the other is a gloss varnish. I'm going to be testing out these varnishes and I have a feeling which one might be better. My initial thoughts when I first bought these was would the glossy varnish make my painting a little too like reflective? Would there be glares on the painting if there fits in like a well-lit room? So that's one of the things I'm going to be looking at for comparison. And um, is this matte varnish going to be like that the same type of quality that I've seen in other um, varnish paintings? but with, without the glare that I'm worried about. I don't know, let's see. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and make sure you subscribe to stay in tune for future videos about painting and the life of this artist. <laughs> All right, so my plan was to um, have these varnishes both tested on two paintings that I have. And so I tested first the matte varnish on this rose painting that I did a few years ago. I wasn't sure how the correct way to apply the varnish was because I've seen artists on Instagram do these aesthetic varnish videos where they pour a little pile of varnish onto the painting and they use the paintbrush of course to paint it on and it's kind of the turning your painting into 4k <laughs> type of video and I, I enjoy seeing those so I tried doing that with this video right here. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right because you know I didn't have that same feeling of the painting sort of transforming like I've seen in other videos. And I think that is because this is the matte varnish and the richness that usually comes out when you varnish a painting is probably not the same type that I'm getting here because it is a matte varnish. I wanted to confirm that with this next painting and so that's what I did. And again, I am not <laughs> anywhere near being an expert. This was my first time varnishing so I unfortunately poured way too much on this sunflower painting. But you know, it, it, it wasn't too bad. I just had to brush off more than I needed. That's why I had paper towels on my working area in the first place, just in case any overflowed off to the sides. But again, the same thing that I was seeing in my rose painting, I was seeing in the sunflowers painting, the richness of the colors weren't coming out like I wanted to see them. And obviously the varnish is there to protect the painting from like damages. Like I have some other paintings that have, you know, flaked over the years because, you know, I haven't been handling them well. They're not really preserved in a way that is good for the health of the painting. I think even though this is a matte varnish, it'll still have that a certain level of protection. It might not have that richness that the gloss varnish will and we will see that in these next two paintings. When I first started doing the varnish on this waterfall painting that I made, I almost immediately saw the difference because like I said before, I've seen videos of artists using varnish on their paintings and there is like a glossy finish to it, but the richness of the colors really come out after you apply the varnish onto the painting. And I tried to be a little more conservative with the amount of paint, or not paint, varnish that I was using on this one. So I definitely made sure that I was using a bigger brush on this one. I was able to, you know, spread it more easily and not worry about getting out a lot of streaks that were on the other paintings. I really like how this one turned out because again, this type of varnish is definitely the one that I'm gonna be using more as I work to preserve the future of my paintings. And just to make sure I tested out this gloss varnish again on my orange portrait painting here, I really was excited to see how the gloss would work to bring out the richness in the colors, especially making the blacks of this painting really go from that like faded matte gray black to like a very rich dark black. I think I was able to get that using this varnish. So, and even though there is that little glossiness that I was worried about, I don't think it's actually that big of a, you know, glare on the paintings. It just has a little bit of shine, like almost like the same type of like effect 
that like a glass would have on a regular photo picture frame. Not even that, like the amount of glare that comes from this, the gloss finish on this varnish is minuscule. And I'm really glad that I was able to use this varnish and I'm definitely gonna be using this one in the future. All right, tell me what you think about these paintings. You know, tell me what you think about the difference between the matte and the gloss varnishes that I've been testing out in this video. And if you have any insight about, you know, using varnishes, let me know in the comments. And I'm sure any other people who come across this video might be appreciative if you leave a comment about that. So with that being said, I'll be seeing you in the next video.